to be creative and pressing to a button and say, you are creative from now on and my job is to be creative every day, to have a visual, interesting, appealing, graphic solutions to potential problems or to, to situations is very challenging. I was born in Rio de Janeiro. I started as a performing artist, and because I always love drawing, and I draw since I am six years old, I decided to take my hobbies and make a real job out of it. Since day one, I was a fan of the first Settlers uh, 1 and 3. I really enjoyed uh, Settlers uh, uh, 6, uh, and then I was uh, in the opportunity to be involved uh, at the end of Settlers 6, and then we started with Settlers 7, and for me, is, it is a dream come true. I'm a director, so I, I lead a, 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 a big teams to drive this project and to give the project the necessary graphic vision. My position is to important to uh, uh, get a lot of uh, overlappings with a lot of different departments. With the creative director, of course, we work hand in hand together because art is there to serve the vision. Create a game, you create the, the whole world first, and then you get into who is living there and. You have this, this, this global vision. I introduce uh, the world and I create all the aspects of this world. I create the, the cult identity of these people from the, the environment until their clothing and uh, the props they use. The art department is, has a big variety on job types and I lead direct all of them to keep them on in the vision, on the track. If you offer zero boundaries to, to, to artists. They get kind of lost and things go goes in all, all possible directions. To keep them on track, we have what we call the uh, Art Bible. And in the Art Bible, we have one about 300 pages where we define the world of the sellers. To be able to read the game, we run a, a danger to create something that I call Disneyland effect. Uh, the Disneyland effect is, some, is a nice place, but everything is unnaturally set. You want to create a world, a city that is we believe, we believe these people live and work there. And, in, in, and the right balance between, I read the building, I read this group of buildings, but I, um, I'm not at Disneyland, where everything is out of place, everything is yelling at your face. So welcome to my place. It's still a work in progress, big piece of, uh, of art that I feel comfortable and cozy. Come in. This house was built in the 80s and uh, it still holds a lot of traces of the, the 80s where actually I spent my childhood. I wanted to have this, this feeling of coziness, of raw materials, there's a lot of wood, and there's a lot of uh, stones, raw stones on the walls, there's glass. I have a passion for, for you know, animals and bulls. This bull, handmade it by a Chinese artist. It is something that I, I like coming in and, then, and being in contact with this pieces that make me feel happy. I grew up with music, I work with music. When I present something at Ubisoft, I like to, to have music around. I bought this house. One reason is because of the, the, the living room has this, those stained glasses, it looks like a church. And then it's this rounded corner where the piano was fitting perfectly. It was a perfect fit to the whole, if I may say, color palette of this living room. Color is a powerful tool to communicate, not only to give contrast, and, but also to communicate emotion, to communicate uh, narrative, and, uh, and that I used to put colors everywhere, specifically combined with the light. Light is really, really important. I like to play with light. There's nothing that I dislike the most, is plain, cold light. It's very quiet. It's a place that can leave uh, Dusseldorf, relax my mind, forget to work, it's, I have a very tough job and full of, you know, appointments and a lot of people around me, and I really enjoy this a little bit of isolation. I consume art in all aspects, from X-Men, DC Universe, comic books, to uh, classicals, Shakespeare, Moliere, Corneille, those big old French authors. I love to go to the opera house and watch dance and watch um, music. Whether Marie Antoinette uh, with her favor for, uh, for sweets uh, or um, Nefertiti or whatever, a marine soldier a design or, or a girl with the elephant. Uh, so that is, that is always around, around character and, and people. I hang the actual work on, on, the, on this kind of a tower so when I can uh, wake up in the morning and see them 
and see, oh, maybe I should change something about it. Ah, oh, the line work is not good enough. So I like to wake up in the morning and being confronted to my own work. It is a bit of luck, a bit of luck, and a lot of dedication. Um, and, and really planning your career. Everything I, I made in my life was planned. I went small steps with a big goal. If you want to be a great artist, I think you should pack your suitcase and go see the world. Traveling, it is a real school. And all the work I do at the office, for example, is are very inspired by, by the things I have seen. We have a specific area in the game that was very inspiring in my last trip to South Africa. The world of Seattle is a welcoming world, a friendly world, the world you want to spend time, you want to, to explore and conquer and settle. It's a stylized game, it is in the Seattle's DNA, but this time you're going to go for full power, authenticity and uh, believability. And fulfilling the aspect of readability. Uh, your characters will come in and work and will produce stuff, we will be able to see what they produce, if they put the output and input piles how things are running in the building. One big, big um, topic for the Sellers game are the cities. It's a city building game, it's an economy uh, managing uh, uh, game, and, uh, and the, the, the designs are very, very important. There's not only uh, the, the aspect of uh, having an appealing look for the, for the, for the designs, but as well uh, a, a readability aspect. The word readability is really important. Uh, we have a game that sells the what you see is what you get, and the graphics are responsible for giving all the necessary information in the world uh, players need to play, with very little use of user interfaces. Every time players will rotate the camera, they will discover new little things about these people, new little objects and props that are placed in the buildings. So it's, it's a little universe full of life, full of detail.